Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Uh, this is my November 2019, what I wore this month. Uh, it started on Wednesday the 6th of November, uh, practically disappeared on Friday the 8th of November and came back with a vengeance on Saturday the 9th, but then, of course, it finished up on the 10th. Um, of course, um, that means it was a Sunday, and that meant that I didn't really do my soaking and washing to Monday and Tuesday, um, which meant I didn't get them done till Wednesday, and currently it is November the 15th. So this is obviously led on um, the week as I've done my washing on the um, 10th and the 11th. Um, so anyway, that's what's happened. Um, I had to soak and wash them and sun dry them. Um, and uh, I used 26 pads, but let's go. Um, I use no cups this cycle, but I used my three pairs of Love Luna underwear. Um, in conjunction with the pads um, to keep everything contained. Um, that's actually part of my review on the Love Lunar underwear, um, which I'll discuss that in further detail. So um, I will get to why I was using the period underwear and pads at the same time um, in that review, which is coming out after, I think, the next period. So after December's period, I will do a review on the Love Lunar underwear, which would mean that, that would be three cycles that I've used it for. Um, so, um, basically, as usual, um, this is, I, so the Love Lena underwear, of course, is just black, as you can tell. So this, this is just a plain black underwear, and I used it on um, Wednesday, and Wednesday during the day, I used it on Wednesday night and I used it on Thursday, so I just have three pairs, I just got a three pair pack, um, so I used it um, like that. Um, but, um, as usual, everything else will be in order, um, outside of obviously the underwear that I just showed you. Um, so, first up is this 10 inch um, this one is a, or nine inch, sorry, um, it is, I think, I think it's called on, it's by a splendid story, I think it's called on the, her website a Mistresses of Evil, um, because obviously it has all three lovely ladies on it. Um, it is woven cotton, super heavy organic uh, bamboo fleece core and soft shell fleece and um, this grid soft shell fleece on the back okay next up we have this 11 inch um, zombie bunnies by Ozony rabbits whichever you want to go with by go with your flow it is cotton topped cotton flannel and a cotton fleece uh, core and anti pill fleece on the back. Next up is this 10 inch vampire tee by Keller Bear Creates. It is cotton lacquer topped, bamboo French terry, cotton flannel, and PUL core with, of course, micro fleece on the back. We're then looking at this 11 inch. It's just me, it's a bit glary right now. Um, Winnie the Pooh by, of course, Erin Sweet So. Um, and uh, it is, um, so I'm just going to move my chair around so it's probably easier to get these showing. Um, Honestly, sometimes the angles with the lights is a bit annoying. Um, but that's no help in this right now. It is a cotton topped organic bamboo fleece and PUL core. And of course, my favorite backer corduroy on the back. Next up is this 11 inch Hocus Pocus by Orange Tulip Knits. It is cotton like with topped bamboo fleece at core and wind pro. This like a, it's kind of like a gray which may not come up so well. It's kind of like a grey wind pro on the back. Next up is this 12 inch La Flame by Venus Pads, um, who is a Canadian maker. 
you know I'm a big fan of Venus pads. Um, this is organic bamboo velour topped flannel core and of course fleece on the back. Next up is this 12 inch Disney. Of course it's got an evil queen on it and Maleficent and Ursula and um, Lilo and Stitch. So it's just kind of a Disney, um, a variety of Disney characters on that. Hades, I believe. Um, and it is cotton lycra topped bamboo fleece and cotton flannel core with anti pill fleece on the back. Uh, next up is this 12 inch boo boo bear by Venus pads. It is a uh, Crushed velvet topped flannel core and fleece on the back. Um, next up, um, which was the overnight pad, which is, which is this 14 inch blood spatter by Keller Bear Creates. It is cotton topped bamboo, French terry, cotton flannel, and PU or core with micro fleece on the back. Next up, the next day, 10 inch The Little Mermaid by Venus Pads, cotton knit topped flannel core and fleece backed. Next up, 10 inch rainbow bear, of course, by Venus pads. It is organic bamboo velour and flannel core and fleece backed. Um, I also used an interlabial pad, which is by Keller Bear Creates. It is cotton lycra topped and cotton backed. Next up we have this Angry Beaver by Keller Bear Creates. It is 10 inches. It is cotton lycra topped and cotton flannel bamboo French terry and PUL core with micro fleece on the back. And also, I was actually quite heavy that morning, and so I used another um, interlabial pad by Keller Bear Creates, which is a cotton lycra and cotton. Next up is this 11 inch Lilo and Stitch by Handmade by Hetty, uh, who is an Irish maker and can be found, nearly all of these makers can be found on Etsy. Um, it is Cotton topped, absorb and flannel core and fleece on the back. Next up is this uh, 10 inch Stars and Moon by Kitty Cat Cloth. It is organic bamboo velour topped um, and this is hand dyed, I believe. And um, it's a fleece, cotton, fleece and cotton fleece at core and it is hybrid wind pro on the back, so, uh, like a smooth um, hybrid. PU on the back. Next up is this 12 inch unicorn by um, Keller Bear Creates. It is cotton topped, cot bamboo French terry, and cotton flannel with PUL core and micro fleece on the back. <coughs> Sorry about that. This is the X Files by A Splendid Story. It is 10 inches. It is woven cotton, super heavy organic bamboo fleece core, and it is um, soft shell fleece on the back. These are 10 inch, uh, this is a 10 inch uh, fish by Kitty Cat Cloth. It is organic bamboo velour topped fleece and cotton fleece core, and ooh, there's like a wind pro on the back. This is a hand dyed, um, this is hand dyed bamboo velour, it's 10 inches by Homestead Emporium. Again, a hand dyed bamboo velour topped, cotton fleece uh, core and uh, water resistant fleece on the back and surged to the backer. This one here is a 9 inch by Muff Dusters. It is a Weeping Angel from Doctor Who. And it is woven cotton, bamboo and PUL core and of course fleece backed. Um, this one here is 10 inch. Um, these little cute pigs with glasses on. And it is by the Purple Panda. 
um, who is an Australian maker, so that's pretty exciting. This is a moderate, um, and this is cotton lycra knit topped. It is a bamboo fleece flannelette and flannelette and PUL core and woven cotton on the, the back. And that's her two stars and her tag. And of course, it is a double snapped. Next up, we've got this 10 inch Disney Killer Princesses. So, all of these Disney princesses are dressed up as movie villains, which is pretty cute. Um, and this is from a splendid story. It is cotton like we topped, super heavy organic bamboo fleece core and soft shell fleece on the back. This one here is an 11 inch crocodile. It is by the Purple Panda. It is cotton topped, a bamboo fleece and PUL core and this really cute cotton print on the back. Next up is 10 inches, The Simpsons by Looney Love Bearfly. Looney Love is cotton jersey topped, super heavy organic bamboo fleece core and a grid wind pro on the back. Next up is this 10 inch hedgehog by Venus Pads, um, which is, uh, this is a cotton knit topped and it is a flannel core and fleece backed. Um, now we're on to my last day. Yeah, this is a 9 inch rabbit by Novel Red. It is quilted cotton, bamboo cotton core and wind pro fleece on the back. And um, now we've got this 9 inch wizard by Odds and Zombies. It is cotton topped and backed, as you can tell, and in the core is a bamboo batting. Of course, as per usual, we used these four um, pad wrappers. They're a really good size and fit nearly all of my pads in them. These are by Gypsy Heart Store. I got this um, from an Australian pad store, um, from Gypsy Heart Store, um, and they are cotton topped and PUL core, or PUL on the inside. Um, this is also another one which is all uh, synthetic and polyester material, another pad wrapper. Um, I used this on my last day to carry around some pads. This is uh, from Hairbrained. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that I wear some of their underwear. And this is an, um, just one of their um, bags. And it has this like kind of polyester on the inside and this cotton on the outside. It's dangerous to take this alone. It's dangerous to go alone take this. And it's, uh, it's like a Mario throwing a um, tampon and of course the uterus is at the side. And the wet bag that I used is of course the Disney Queens by Bella Luna Inspirations which is of course lined in PUL. It is a single pocket and it has this snap on it and I use this as my whip bag. So um, that is it for this um, what I wore this month. Um, if you were following along this was 26 pads, three lovely nut underwear, four pad wrappers and two interlabial pads and a small little um, two extras. Um, two extra, two interlabial pads and a wet bag. Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the day. And I, of course, will catch up with you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.